obviously there's going to be some crazy people out there that are tr- going to try to change the norms and try to change the laws and oh wait that's already happening now <laughs> Because look, a lot of things are legal that are morally wrong too. Hey guys, it's Alessa. Welcome back to my channel. So I don't know if you guys have noticed in the community tabs and even in the comment section of my previous videos, I mentioned that the video quality will now be back to how it was originally. So do you guys remember a few months back, the quality was like 4K, literally. It was just, it looked amazing. And then it kind of went down and got like a little bit more grainy. And then finally, recently, it's been completely different. Well, I didn't do that on purpose. Unfortunately, when I filmed the way I filmed, I couldn't see myself. So it was going out of focus, the storage was running out, and it was just not good. Thank God I stumbled across this feature that I didn't know about. Long story short, I can mirror this so I can basically see myself and I can see that it's recording. It's not taking up storage. Apple, thank you so much. You know what? Sometimes you get on my nerves a little bit because of the prices and because of some features that should be there already that we pay we're paying like thousands of dollars for. But you know what? This one, I thank you so much. So enough of me rambling. In this video, I'm going to talk about relativism, which I mentioned in my previous video. I don't know how this word, how I found it or like how it, how it just kind of sparked in my head and why I wanted to talk about it. And I think I wanted to talk about it because I see what's going on in this world. And again, Alessia, you always talk about this. Find a hobby. I love dance. <laughs> Not me trying to justify myself. <laughs> it's just jokes. I love dancing and singing. I really do. I like being silly, but let's do something that's different because everybody can dance. Everybody can sing. Everybody can be goofy, but like not many people want to express themselves. And I think we need more authenticity in this world. So I'm glad to bring this to you guys. So, so in simple terms, relativism is the belief that there's no absolute truth, only the truth that a particular individual or culture happened to believe. So some, sometimes you'll hear people say, this is my truth or the truth that I live by. If you believe in relativism, then you think different people can have different views about what's moral and immoral. I think for most people, you guys would think the thing about relativism is like leading down, like it's not going down a good path. You know what? I'm gonna be here and tell you my thoughts on it, which is obviously gonna be a bit biased because I have my opinion on it. But if there's someone who has an opposite opinion or view of this, your opinions all are welcome down below. Go right ahead, please, because maybe some people can defend this, okay? Just just, just let me know what you think. So relativism, why I think that is kind of a weak argument or why I think it's kind of BS <laughs> is because they're basically saying that there's no right or wrong. It's kind of whatever we believe. So just because a group of people think that something's right doesn't mean doesn't make it right. So for example, back then in America, people thought slavery was okay. Does that mean it's okay now? Slavery was accepted and was normalized and like a lot of people didn't bat an eye. And now what do we think of it? It's the worst thing, it's crazy, it's immoral, it's illegal, it's disgusting, it's terrible. So that's an example. And that's a like kind of more extreme argument, right? But it, this can also be applied to examples that are happening now. Now, I just want to say something very quickly. As you guys can see, these videos end up being kind of short and they end up being kind of, kind of like my free flowing thoughts. A lot of the times I end up posting it and then I end up thinking of other things I should have said. So please keep in mind that this is probably not going to be like my full argument or like my full opinion because I'm thinking in the moment. And then when I really sit down and like contemplate, then I have more ideas. And then a lot of the times you guys bring up good points in the comments and I'm like, yeah, that person, I agree. If we go by whatever people think, obviously there's going to be some crazy people out there that are going to try to change the norms and try to change the laws and, oh wait, that's already happening now. <laughs> Because, yeah, I understand in like, for example, some cultures, something's okay. Some things are, are accepted and some in some cultures, some things are not accepted. But at the same time, does it make it right? I think a lot of the times if things are infringing on human rights, that could be an issue. Another a good example of like relativism, I guess, is let's say, and this is the hill I'm willing to die on and defend till the very last days, because I know in my heart that this industry is wrong. And the amount of people that try to defend it, even people who have similar views as me, they still try to defend it. I mean, not everybody, but there are still people whether whatever side you're on that still try to defend this and this is something i will never be able to defend and i want to make this into a whole separate video because i can go on hours about this but let's just tie it into relativism the adult industry or corn because i'm not going to say the word because i don't want to get taken down i cannot find any moral justifications for it at all at all at all it's against it's just morally wrong it's 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 causing issues society societal wise it causes personal issues mental and physical it changes the way you see relationships um what else if you're religious it's completely wrong <laughs> completely wrong so 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 just because it's accepted to you like you think it's okay and that person thinks it's okay i don't think it's okay in general because there's more cons than pros to this industry and again that'll be a whole separate video but that for example <laughs> the funny thing about that is a lot of the times people cannot give moral justification or any reasoning to keep those things up they just they just can't the thing with relativism is it kind of lacks a concept of guiding principles into like what's right and wrong and if we all ba make it based on people's opinions 
y'all see where it's going so when people try to say oh it's just an opinion thing it's just an opinion thing i don't i don't agree the way we perceive morality is shaped by culture and society kind of like that quote said just because a majority of people accept it it doesn't make it right because right now there's a lot of things in our society that are destroying us physically and mentally it's destroying each other like relationships friendships it's it's going against even religious moral it's going against everything but people still think it's okay because it's accepted in society i can think of what's going on in hollywood i can think of this adult industry maybe like we can say abortion we can say like censorship just so many issues that we're dealing with that i think that people are so desensitized to it and they think it's okay just because it's accepted if it if we think it's okay just just because it's accepted then why don't you go to another country overseas where literally you have no rights and and to them it, it's okay right because that's because they're because that's just how society is because they live in that society and and their society and their country and their government tells them like what's going on is okay then then it's okay right this is why relativism there's just so many flaws if cultural relativism is true then we can't say that the customs of other countries are worse than ours you can infringe on human rights you can infringe on just people's well-being and sanity just because your culture and society is okay with something so that means we don't have a say in like what other people do because that's just their truth and that's just normal in their culture i don't you guys see like the flaws of this whole thing if people want to make that argument to me it's like my truth it's whatever i think like they're like oh there's no such thing as morality because our culture is accepting of this this and this it's right you know like at that point we can just like redefine everything you know at that point again like the examples the adult industry the abortion the censorship it's like i can see not that i agree with but i can see why people will defend these but i don't think that it's right but then people can say well look at society it's we're allowed to the law also doesn't define necessarily what's right because look a lot of things are legal that are morally wrong too so do you guys understand what i'm trying to do tying all of this into in together just basically saying that relativism is just bs it's completely bs i feel like i did not make a proper argument but i'm not like i'm not a teacher i'm not a professor i'm just trying to like i'm just my thoughts are so free flowing of a script do you really like think like over and over what you're gonna say no i kind of just like think in the moment you know what i what i think the idea of cultural relativism is nothing but an excuse to violate human rights that is very very true i mean we can disagree on things and we can argue with each other why we're right we're wrong but it doesn't make things necessarily right because listen to this arguments against cultural relativism if, if if cultural relativism is true then it is impossible to ever legitimately criticize the standards of another culture so that means we have no say in how another culture runs things even if they're doing things that are infringing on people's rights and they're wrong nothing if if it's true the best way to determine what is right or wrong is just to survey what most people believe is right or wrong but that's not necessarily going to give us an ac an accurate representation and give the right answer you know because for example a lot of people get, like the adult industry is fine to have okay or a lot of people will say abortion's okay to have right but does it make it really right if you look at what exactly is happening that's why it's it's so flawed if CR, cultural relativism, is true, one cannot say of former practices of one's own society that they are worse or better. Again, we just cannot criticize it. It's all a matter of personal opinion. What's true for you is not true for me. We can't judge another person's morality and all societies have different moralities. I don't think I even have to explain to you guys what, why this is so flawed, really. Like, and, 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 and I don't know if this is an argument, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if th this is an argument that a lot of people make, but I, I, I see it. I do see it. Um, oh, it's all opinion. Like, screw it. Like, we only live once. Like, it doesn't matter what people do. We're all going to die in the end. Y'all, <laughs> this is how you're literally a bystander. You can see millions of people jumping off a cliff. You're going to be like, okay, it's not me. It's not affecting me, whatever. If they want to do that, who cares? You... <laughs> I had also had a link of like this this girl who made this argument that's basically like the world has made us betray ourselves and and what we know is right inside and what we know is wrong inside we're betraying that because we're looking at what other people are doing we're looking at society and we're not staying true to our values because we're getting influenced by these outside factors don't let them take away your morality don't let them take take that stuff away because you inherently know what's right or wrong you you know i think deep down we can tell what's right or wrong that's just how we are you know and someone i'm gonna give credits to this person i don't know if i should say their name they were just basically saying like you know when you're alone in your room and you have these thoughts and these beliefs are you confident in them is it just the outside world that's making you doubt yourself 
we know inside we can tell we have that gut like i have a conscience i have i know what's right or wrong and people think it's all like a religious belief opinion no even morally even scientifically like you just can tell right and i think that a lot of people ignore their conscience and ignore like what's right or wrong by looking at what society is doing for example also when people are younger and they go along with the crowds that are like drinking smoking doing all these bad things because they're all their friends are doing it and oh it's fine for me because whatever my friends are doing it it's accepted in our friend group like no it's clearly we can see time and time again in history where if thing a lot of things were based on like what's true for you is not true for me or like oh it's all my opinion we can't judge their moralities and then millions of people have suffered because of people like that so you know what no relativism is very flawed and it's going to lead us down dark paths my opinion like these are just some of my points i'm just putting things in very simple terms in these videos but yeah guys that is the end of my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video please don't forget the algorithms look at how people interact with the video don't forget that. thank you guys so much for watching again leave down below your thoughts and i will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.